We all know when sailors go on leave, they can do some crazy things. But whatever Valera was taking when all this happened, it takes the cake. Here's the background on this in case you missed it. Valera is preparing for his ultimate showdown with Dutch, his old nemesis, but he can't decide what to do, and that's where you come in. Stock up on ammo and grab an extended mag just in case, or relax and have a good old drink because there's nothing to worry about. Well, since there was no option to tell Valera to write a will, we'll just stick to the script. So the two options that were given were rush Dutch and see what happens, or take cover and try to wait it out. So Valera allowed his mind to wander, what if? And the scenarios started flying. So Valera hit the juice and rushed forward. He wasn't scared, maybe he was, there was a little hesitation there. But come on, you can do this Valera. You're the mad pirate, let's go. Rush, and I don't see anyone. Hey, this might be easier than I thought. I just hear gunfire. Wow, that was easy. And he gets the poop emoji. So Valera thought, but rushing has to be the answer. Look at my fire rate. Let's try again. So Valera rushes full speed ahead this time. No hesitation. He's got to get past that fountain and establish a dominant position. As he reaches the fountain, he looks around and sees dead bodies everywhere. But there's no sign of Dutch. Maybe he's scared. Maybe he forgot. Perhaps I can win if Dutch doesn't show up. In the distance, he hears a roto gun, counting bodies like sheep to the rhythm of the war drums. And as he looks to his left, he gets the poop emoji. Valera checks Discord and sees, the people of Discord think I can win. So he says to himself, Bullets, he said out loud. Taking more bullets won't hurt. Well, it will, but that's kind of the point. So here's the square off. I'd be more concerned that uh, Dutch didn't even bring a gun. And now I'll just read from the script because even I couldn't make this up. Blindly firing at first, Valera ran towards the fountain. Staying in the open wouldn't be smart. He had to adapt and approach the situation slowly. Several days passed, or maybe it was just a few minutes. The shootout was so exhausting, it felt like forever. The extra ammo certainly helped, but Valera soon ran out of spare mags. He needed another plan, and fast. That's when he heard a distinct sound coming from the nearby ruins. Dutch had already flanked him, and he brought heavy artillery to finish the fight. As the steps got louder, Valera noticed something in the rubble right beside him. A knife. Rusty, but good enough. Not many options anyway. Now, Dutch barely had time to aim his rockets when Valera quickly dashed to the side, dodging the rocket and approaching his enemy in a swift motion. One strike followed by another, then it was finally over. Valera had won. Talens belonged to him. He took a moment to embrace the victory, then grabbed his trusty knife and carved a little sign in the fountain, and it said, Valera rules. Wow, that was quite the story, wasn't it, kids? Now let's see what happened when Valera woke up and actually fought Dutch. Yeah, just as scenario one suggested. The poop emoji. Well, thanks for watching, kids. Remember, when sailors go on leave, wild things happen. Don't ever accept anything from Valera. Look what he thought he could do.